but not the way this government is running it. Uh, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr Chair. And, uh, sir, I am very pleased to stand and speak on the uh, particular area of transport under uh, this debate, uh, which is touching on uh, appropriations that come to the Commerce Committee and to the Transport and Industrial Relations Committee. Uh, sir, the infrastructure in our country is absolutely critical if we want to see sustained, continued economic growth that we are seeing right now carry on for years to come. So one of the uh, commitments that this government has made is to ensure that we have a transport infrastructure that is indeed going to uh, fuel that economic growth, particularly in the regions. Uh, we know that there's been a huge investment in the Waikato Expressway. Uh, so that affects regions uh, such as uh, Hawke's Bay, such as Taranaki, such as King Country, because when our exporters uh, take their product uh, to ports, they travel down those uh, roads of national significance. And so those roads that are outside of our region are our regional uh, roads to our export ports. I want to just acknowledge the, uh, the Minister of Transport, the Honourable Simon Bridges, and the former Minister of Transport, Honourable Stephen Joyce, and the commitment that these uh, ministers have made over the years to ensure that we have uh, a, a state-of-the-art, a modern transport infrastructure. We often hear, sir, the, uh, the comparison between road transport and rail transport. And so we have, uh, at times, competition between those two modes of transport. However, the, uh, the, the Road Transport Association, in assessing the freight demand and the freight load they carry, say that there's a very small percentage of freight that is competitive between road and rail, uh, something less than 5%, and that these modes are actually more and more complementary because we know that there are uh, freight loads that uh, the rail can carry very efficiently, uh, but there are also services that they can't provide efficiently, such as door-to-door uh, -door delivery that is needed uh, for and where the Road Transport Association and uh, that sector are very, very efficient. Uh, we are seeing, sir, a continued investment by this government uh, in the uh, transport uh, portfolio. Uh, this year we have seen an increase uh, <clears throat> of 4.13 per cent in the 2016-17 year, an investment of $4.265 billion of, uh, of not just taxpayer funding, but funding that comes through road user charges. Uh, a huge proportion of that comes through tax revenue collected by the Crown, something like $3.4 billion. Uh, one of the I think great initiatives that the Minister is leading uh, is this whole area around electric vehicles. And what we are aiming to see, uh, see and what the Minister is leading is a doubling of electric vehicles in our country uh, by 2021 of up to 64,000 at that point of time. And, sir, and, sir um, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, important because it's the way of the future. Uh, there are multiple different fuel sources for vehicles. Uh, here in New Zealand, we have the ability to have the most sustainable supply of clean energy to vehicles more than just about any country in the world. 80% of the energy utilised in running an electric vehicle and building it, uh, uh, but also running it, sir, uh, comes from renewable sources. Whereas in other parts of the world, it, that figure is only 60%. Uh, and why is that? It's because our electricity is generated by, by wind, by water, uh, by, uh, by sunlight, whereas in many other countries of the world, electricity is generated through thermal, through oil and coal. And so, sir, we have uh, the great opportunity to have an electric vehicle fleet that has the highest level of sustainable energy supply to it of just about any nation in the world. And uh, we look forward to seeing this increase. As of the 29th of February this year, we had 1,057 light electric vehicles in the country. So lifting that to 64,000 by 2021 is an ambitious goal. And just getting these vehicles into the market is going to be very important to see the uptake of that. And so the Minister, of course, has announced many initiatives around that. And uh, we look forward to seeing that uh, continue in the future. So one of the um, 
strategies that we as a committee uh, saw was the regional state highways, and so we see an accelerated regional roading program being delivered.